Hey, what's up? Here we go. Uh, so today we got another uh, little mod we're doing to the car. Um, this is going to be uh, in the back of the car, actually a rear diffuser uh, picked up from CJ Pony Parts. Uh, so we got it right here. And bring it a little closer so it's plastic so it matches exactly uh, to the premium um, rear diffuser that's on it now. The biggest difference notably is the larger fins and then there's two of them rather than the one um, so this is going to match all the plastic um, it's and we're going to be cutting away uh, the actual painted part down below so this is a permanent uh, modification uh, to the car so we're first thing we're going to do is this has got to go so we're going to cut this out and then uh, we'll go back to the car i'm going to try to do this without taking off the bumper at all um, just make it super simple, super easy, and then hopefully it helps you guys uh, when you're going through the process uh, if you do decide to pick up this. I think I got it for uh, something around like 220 230 uh, after a, a little discount. So uh, we're going to go ahead, we'll get this cut, and then we'll go to the car and take care of that piece. Here we go. All right guys, so the bolts we're gonna be removing here. So you got one here. You actually have one back here and then one straight toward all the way back to the wheel well. There's two plastic clips that go right here and right here. Those pop out. You come around, you have a plastic clip right here. There are two here and here, metal screws that you take off and then you remove, as you can see, I've removed the rear parking light here, or the rear backup. So you have, let's see if I can get my hand up here. We have, boom, there's one, two, three, and four. To remove that, and that comes right out. Just pull it down here. And then the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to finish removing all the rest of this. And then we'll start removing the diffuser on this side here. All right. Now once you have those three bolts removed here, here, and here, this part comes out. And then you just pull straight back. And then these little clips here will start popping out. Here you have this one. And then to get the top, you pull, you twist down. And then to get the bottom ones in here, you're going to twist kind of up. And it'll be easier to do once you have all of this removed here. So let's see if I can get a couple popping out. So you can see this clip here. There's another clip right there. And then the rest of this will just pop off.
Now we've got this put together. So the way you do it, the easiest way to do it is once you cut the piece that's connected to the bumper off, you'll put this in and then you'll attach this, uh, this plastic piece right here and same thing over here. That's, that's the one that just pops straight up into it. That helps hold it into place and then grab the stock uh, and grab the stock diffuser piece and pop it in in a few places and then you'll put this thing, the, the new diffuser, um, up against so you'll actually push the stock diffuser has that piece that hangs down which is right here and goes behind this bar here. So if you haven't cut this piece out, this is the part that has the um, the kind of grill or mesh look to it. Um, obviously I've cut it out on mine. Um, and then the piece goes behind that. And then each of it, each of those pieces, as you can see there, they just snap right into place. Same thing with the aftermarket piece. Um, the aftermarket piece just has those, those holes in it. Same as that piece does. That just pops right into the clips on the stock here. So now we're going to go ahead and put everything back together. Um, we'll get this set. I'll show you the end result.